The purpose of this lid effects experiment is to see if anything goes out of the hot water cup with the lid compared to out of a cup without a lid. Since it was suggested that possibly the water vapor or the steam rises and goes out of the cup without a lid, the lid may be the reason why the temperature of the drink changes. If liquid water molecules do come out of the cup with a lid, we may measure the change of mass on the hot water cup over time. And so here we have a scale. We've turned the scale on and we'll measure in ounces and we have two decimal places after the, the period or the hundredths place that it will measure. And so we will take a cup, we'll start with the regular cup and put it on the scale. And when we do that, then we will need to tear the scale, is what it's called, setting it to zero. This allows us to know what the weight of the material is that we put in the cup. And I have nice hot water that is ready to go for us. We're going to use the same temperature water to compare two regular cups. And so we're at about 62 degrees for this particular experiment. We'll pour the water in. And we'll start our time and we'll go 10 minutes to see what the weight is after 10 minutes. So right now we're at 8, 10 ounces. Here we are at 10 minutes of time, and let's look at what the mass is of this cup. And now the mass of the cup, we'll re-tear it and measure. The mass is 8.55 ounces. Next, we will experiment with a regular cup, however, with a lid. And so what we're going to do is we're going to tear the scale. So we have 0, 0.00. We'll take the lid off. We're going to pour the same temperature water in, same amount of water in. We'll get our measurements. Okay, so we're starting it now with the water at 7.55 ounces, and we'll begin our time, and we'll wait 10 minutes and see what happens. We are at the 10 minute mark, so let's turn the scale on again. And let's see how much it weighs now. We are at 8.15 ounces. Next, we're going to measure a double cup, double layer cup with a lid. And so we can see that it is teared to zero. We'll pour the same amount of water, same temperature water in the cup. Put the lid on. Take our measurement. So we are at 7.6. Seven point seven ounces. We'll start our timer and we'll wait about ten minutes and we'll see what happens. Here we are at the ten minute mark. 
So let's turn the scale on and see what the weight is now. The mass is 8.60 ounces. The next cup that we're going to test is the coffee cup. So the fancy cup that is specifically a coffee cup without a lid. And we've teared it already, so it's at a mass of zero. This time we're going to use a water temperature that is about 85 degrees Celsius. We're going to pour that in. And we'll use the same temperature of water for all three of these cups. We'll start our time and we'll see what happens in 10 minutes. We are at the 10 minute mark. So let's look and see what our mass is gonna be. Turning it back on and setting it down. And here we have a mass of 8.20, 8.20. This is a coffee cup with a lid. So we're gonna test it this way now. So with both of them on here, we'll tear the scale. So we're at 0, 0.00 ounces. We'll put the same temperature and the same amount of water into this coffee cup. We'll put our lid on. And we'll check our weight. We are looking at 8.3 five we'll start our timer 8.35 ounces let's look at our weight the mass on the scale is 8.90 ounces eight point nine zero ounces and with the same temperature water and same amount of water we're going to put it in a double coffee cup two layered coffee cup with a lid so let's tear the scale so it's starting off at zero ounces and we'll pour in the water put the lid on And our starting mass is 7.90, 7.90. Our mass is 8.85. Mass is 8.85 ounces.